Hi there and welcome to another episode of Technology Insights with 2 Degrees Kelvin. Um, today we are on a farm in Kent. And we are going to be conducting electroluminescence at night on 3,600 modules. So let's have a look at the equipment and see how we do it. So we are putting together the carbon fiber frame for our four EL camera setup for tonight. Just making final adjustments now for setting up all the electrical equipment. Uh, so here you come to the electrical part where we're connecting all of the various DC cables into the string combiner boxes and the master and slave units behind. Let's just take a little closer look at that. So this is the master switch box and you've got your main DC power cable coming in and then each one of these switch boxes here is connected up to the positive side of the string there and then to extend how many strings that we've got combined, we've got an extension slave unit here, which uh, you can go up to 36 on there. Using this bit of kit, then all the wiring is done in the daytime, which is obviously safer and much quicker. And then when you come to the nighttime when you're doing your electroluminescence, it's just a, a remote switch that um, enables you to sequence through the strings uh, to enable you to gather the electroluminescence images. So here we are all set up, ready for our night of EL image gathering. Uh, you can see the tripod behind me there with the four cameras in place. Sun setting, let's get stuck in some EL photo gathering. For this project, a client suspects that there is a repetitive mechanical defect throughout the site and so they want to carry out a 10% sample using electroluminescence. During the UK solar boom, we have found in the field a significant number of defects, whether that be manufacturing defects or mechanical damage, which has been introduced when offloading modules or installing modules. There are several forms of traditional inspection which have been developed for solar PV. Electroluminescence is the most sophisticated and superior testing methodology that exists in the world today. And we are pushing the boundaries in terms of bringing the price point down and providing value to our clients. Typically, depending on the power solution, we can gather anywhere from a thousand up to 4,000 individual module images per night. Detecting equivalent to 95% of all known cell defects as opposed to approximately 25% with thermography IR. There you are guys, that is it. Half past four in the morning, 3,600 modules scanned with nighttime EL. Big thank you to EAPVI, who are our technology and service partners for um, high volume EL. I um, hope you've enjoyed Tech Insights from Two Degrees Kelvin. I'm John Davis, and we'll speak to you soon.